what's up guys welcome back to the titlh.com today we will go ahead and we will create the form for our actual newsletter system so till now we have only created the login system the admin page and we have created some sessions to keep our admin panel secure from unwanted users so very first thing I want you guys to do is take the entire PHP code from here and just hit Control X to cut it down and create a new file here and name it as session.php so this way we don't have to write our these line of codes on every page we can only include this session file anywhere we want and out here on the very top I'm gonna say PHP include wants uh, scripts slash session.php that's all we need and now this particular page is uh, safe and secure until and unless someone is not gonna log in they would not be able to access this page and one more thing guys if you have noticed last time this very first line which is session start was not there that was missing that was my mistake so please go ahead and write out here and say session start because in order to create any sessions we will have to uh, you know you will have to define it on the very top so please go ahead and do that and now we are going to create a new page we will name it as newsletter.php so I'm gonna say newsletter.php Okay, and you guys might be thinking why I'm not doing anything on this index.php page because guys this is the very main page this is the dashboard of our admin panel so I don't want to you know I don't want to create any forms out here uh, we will use this particular page to display the data of what we are doing all of all the activities you know we can show the latest users who have just subscribed for our newsletters we can show the lat the latest newsletters that have been sent so we can keep this particular page for that but for now we will create a page with newsletter.php I will go to my index.php page I will uh, take everything from there and I will paste it out here because we need the header and the navigation file in order to do all this next go to your nav.php page and give it a reference to this particular page so I'm gonna say newsletter.php so anytime we will click on this link it will take a take us to the page where we want to go so here it says newsletter.php page but same kind of uh, header and a navigation panel here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new div and uh, I will name it as div ID main section after that to uh, inside it we will have to create the form so for the form I'm gonna create some more divs I'm gonna name this one to form elements and the closing of this div inside it I will make a label for subject and the input type text name equal to subject and I will give it an ID of subject as well then I'm gonna copy it down paste paste uh, one more time okay after subject I'm gonna have uh, the sender's email here I'm gonna say this email and the same would be for the ID then I'm gonna have sender's name the person's name who want to send the particular newsletter and his name this to his name as well after that to um, I'm going to have some description or the content whatever you guys want to write I will say content and instead of input type we want to have the text area text area name to content oh my gosh 
content. I'm not going to describe any rows or columns out here. We will do it with our style sheet. ID to content. And guys, later I will show you guys how to, you know, <clears throat> get some um, text editors instead of using this particular uh, content. If you guys are not sure what that is, if you will go to my site, uh, com slash newsletter. Let me show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to log in with admin admin you can guys can see i already have a newsletter set up out here if you want to see i will go to newsletter i'm going to say create new oh my gosh it's taking so much time okay finally we got it so we're going to use this particular text editor later but for now we're only going to uh, use the simple uh, text area and the next video I will uh, tell you guys from where to download it and how to use their uh, APIs and their files to get it into your project but for now we are uh, very happy with this particular text area and in the last I want to create uh, a submit button from where they can actually submit this form so input type would be submit okay, copy it name to submit ID to submit and I'm going to give it some value of submit as well. So come back. This this is what we got till now. It's very untidy. We're going to make it look clean. So I'm going to say div ID main section. It should have a width of 980 pixels with a margin of auto to keep it in the center. Okay. And the padding to 10 pixels and then I'm gonna say div ID for elements give them a padding of 10 pixels I think that's fine one more thing we want to do is div ID from elements label should have a width of let's say 110 pixels and should flow towards left so if we will come back now we got a bit of cleaner form and say the padding to 10 pixels I'm copy it down paste it here type input type text Yes. Let me tell you the reason why I'm doing this particular input type text. Otherwise, the styling I'm going to provide to this input, it will go to this particular submit button as well. So I don't want that. So I'm using the CSS3 particular targeting elements that input type equal to text. I'm going to say padding to 10 pixels. And uh, border. Give them some border. 1 pixel. Solid. Uh, gray so I will come back so it's looking a bit cleaner but I think 10 pixels are too much make them to 5 and we'll have to make them to 5 also otherwise they will you know go a bit on the top this one on the bottom something like that okay that's fine after that I can give them some most border radius also border radius it is again a CSS uh, what I would say a CSS3 element or a styling kind of a thing I'm not sure what to say you can use the different prefix for the web kit that will take care of Chrome and Safari this one will take care of Mozilla and the very last one would be the default one so you can see a bit corners out here and instead of E8 let me use C8 that would be a bit darker okay this one is a bit darker now we have to <coughs> do with our text area so I'm gonna say form elements text area should have a for height of 40 pixels 40 pixels is too low. 
make it 280 and give it the same you know padding border or everything <coughs> okay this is looking pretty okay but i think we have to increase the width as well because we are writing the news error not a tiny message <coughs> i'm sorry so i went to 100 pixels let's do this i know 300 pixels that's fine this to 100 okay this one is looking pretty nice if you guys want you can you know and give your own custom styles um, i'm okay with this one and out here i'm gonna say h3 to create news letter okay that's fine and one more thing to do with this particular h3 i'm gonna say dev id main section h3 text align to center and uh, after text align we're gonna have uh, some padding of five pixels and margin bottom to 10 pixels okay this is something we have i think that that's pretty pretty nice and clean so finally here we can <coughs> create our form we can write a subject we can write the sender's email the person who want to show the email and then the sender's name and the content of your particular news there but uh, don't worry guys in the next video we, will, we are going to go ahead we will implement this particular text area and we will deal with some php in order to validate this form <coughs>